Have you ever asked yourself a question of how much does it cost to own um, a petrol station or petrol garage like engine, Sasol, Shell, Total, you name them. Where, but the point is where you fill your car, where you pull your petrol. Have you ever asked yourself how much does it cost to own one of those things? Well, today I'm here to answer that question. So if you're interested, then I want you to stick around as we unpack this business journey. Well, in this YouTube channel, we provide you update like that. Um, we address people in the business. Uh, look, people are interested in starting business. We also address people or give more information to people who want to find a job. So in this particular episode, we are focusing on people that are interested in business. Seeing that you're interested in business, we thought this will work well for you. Having said that, let's go back to the video here. But yeah, before we start with the video, there's only one favor that I'm asking and that is you subscribe, you like the video and you comment in the comment section below. Because doing that, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. It also helps me to make more videos that will keep you informed. The power is in your hands. Speak about the power that is in your hands. In this particular episode, I want to speak about the power that is in your pocket and your mind. And that is, how much would, would it cost you to own a filling station? How much would it cost you to have your own garage? By the way, that's an instant money coming into your pocket. Because I also met a person that happens to uh, look, come from a family where they own one garage in Eastern Cape. And guess what? She tells me that the shop alone in the garage depending on where the garage is if your garage is next to a frame she tells me that she tells me that that garage cannot make <laughs> with a store not the petrol a store a store cannot make less than 1 million profit by the items that you're selling on the garage as a store not the petrol. We're not talking about the petrol. She says just the store. Another information. I've also met with a person that uh, owns a garage. One of the garage gay. Elena told me, look, you find that that garage has got woolies. The garage with woolies doesn't make less than 4 million rand. Just the store alone on the garage. Doesn't make less than 4 million rand profit a month. Think about it. Even if you share 50-50 with the Woolies, if you share 50-50% uh, profit with the Woolies, you are still left with 2K, so you're still mad. From the store alone, we haven't spoken about the petrol. The store alone. So, there's money to be made in this space. But what, how much does it cost for you to have this? Let's get into this one. There's an article, there's a, there's an, there's a business who runs... They happens to run a at look article, and this article is called Business Touch or Business Insider. It's one of the look one of their companies, right? So yeah, they released this and said, "The engine garage you have a roughly one thousand look one thousand three hundred filling station throughout the southern Africa, and they are one of the more expensive filling station network in the region and have." Partnership with solid brands like Woolworth for uh, for their uh, for France store and and arts and but their large footprint popularity means that they are buying engine franchise is expensive if you can find one currently engine is just one safety station listed on the on its franchise website right um yeah 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 yeah. Um, let's get into Shell. Shell is a global filling station franchise with a strong presence in South Africa. Shell has, has about 7,000 stations throughout South Africa and many of which are on a long haul route with a strong fast food restaurant attached to the Shell franchise website. Right. Yeah, so then let's go to... Let's go to... 
Let's go to e Sasol Garage. Sasol is an established filling station brand in South Africa uh, that grows due to successful franchise model. Sasol franchise website says they are offering advantage of established brand with full support and are looking for franchise who are who bring commitment, management skills, and daily daily hands on the, the daily hands on involvement to their business. And Sasol defines its business as a convenience center, right? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Um, Total Energies, Total Garage. Uh, Total Energies is a, a significant global energy company with a presence in 130 countries. They have about uh, 550 filling stations throughout South Africa, and according to their franchise website, they are still open to application from new new dealers. Astron Energy happens to be engine a local tax garage. Astron Energy is a rebranded Caltex and they have 850 stores in South Africa market, South African market. And this makes them one of the most prominent player in the local filling station market. And their partnership with Fresh Stop adds another revenue stream to their business. Mm. Okay. So let's get it into let's get into the figures there. How much do you need? for each and every brand here. How much should you prepare to get into that business? The application fees and all the stuff. That's exactly what we are now unpacking. Let's start here. Um, we need to start with e, which one do we start with? We need to, which one do you start with? Okay, give me e Astral Energy. Astral Energy website says they are open to application like I told you. However, they don't stipulate what uh, look what these expenses cost may be for or, or no future any existing stores for sale. So when it comes to e Caltex, we are struggling. Look, according to e Business Touch, they have struggled to find the exact cost or the exact figures, but they are open for business. Uh, Caltex Energy is now extra energy, yes. So they are open for franchise. So that's one. Let's go into the next one now. The next one being a, a total energy, total garage. How much do they need? They said their total look. Total Energies does not provide details on the cost of buying a new franchise or list any established business for sale, but they provide a long list of application document and initial cost, like nine thousand six hundred fee for. Uh, psychometric uh, assessment and 30,000 training fee for appointment candidate. Hey, I should be like a guy, it should be the lap on So that's the challenge. But I've, I think I've met a lady that was well, that went to apply GUI Total Garage in Sentin in their head offices. So yeah, they do, they are open, they are open for business, they are open even if the information is not on the website. but they are open for business, right? Let's get into the next one. The next one is Sasol Garage. Sasol Garage, what's it, what do you have for us? How much does it take for us to get into it? It does, however, have non-established business listed on its website. But in Butterworth, it is the Eastern Cape. The store pumps it value of 220, 222 776 liters and it is convenient store in the 10 takeover is 343,133 per month hmm okay 343,133 uh, 133,000 rand per month right for this petrol station Sasol is asking for 5.5 million including VAT so I think about it guys you're gonna buy a business at 5.5 million rand and then it gives you close to 350,000 rand a month and you won't take you won't take that business come on the good thing is this is black and play so ah come on guys come on mfuna name oh come on send on gun who are sending a shell shell garage australia when ufuna malini game to be shell franchise you must be a south african citizen and uh, 
uh, presence will give you will give will give it back to candidate as defined in the country's BEE Act. Particularly, females application needs to be needs to meet shell anti bribery and corruption and integrity due to diligence requirement and bring a personal contribution of at least five hundred thousand rand. Wow, that's so cheap. I wanna, I wanna the likes of Abu G, the likes of Abu Dibuti, the likes of Abu Sims right. Likes of Abu DJ's Buddha Hustlers Corner. You know, they, they, you know guys, if you need a bear, you can get something. Oh, saying I should not buy French as a shell. Seems right. Now I heard you saying 20,000 rand, you can make it. Come on. Come on, girl. If you can push that, if you can push that and get to 40k. Oh, man. Come on. And then, best of all, Chile husband, they are going to add more. The booty, I've heard you saying you get 120k in, look, when things are good. You just need five months, six months to buy into Shell Garage. Come on, girl! Hey, I'm going to Pastor Bay, I'm going to go to the Costa Zoo. I'm going to go to the Shell. Where is the Shell? I'm going to buy cash. Did you just move? I'm going to buy cash. I'm going to buy cash. I'm going to buy cash. I'm going to buy Engine Garage. School men, Nanda. Engine Garage. Currently, Engine Garage has one of the safest stations listed on the uh, French's website. Uh, in in, in, in St. Cape. The station pumps about 279,000 liters of fuel per month and it has a quip shop and baker on site. For, for a franchise of this size and value, Engine is asking for 8.39 million, which includes 1.5 million working capital requirement. Franchise must be must have 20% of its uncumbered um, cash. Oh, in full oh. 8. something million. Pella, Pella, Emona, if you are the likes of Abundi Buti, you know. You can get 120,000 rand. The bank is friendly. So you just need to work a few months of two years, three years down the line. You didn't buy the garage for your children. Ah, hey! But this business. I need, to mean, I need to you guys ask me to provide you with business ideas. So now I did. It's up to you. Me, I did exactly what you asked me to do. You wanted business ideas. Boom. I gave. Boom. Business ideas. Tata me. Haman. There's a way to succeed here. If you die poor, don't blame me. Because I'm not giving you the information. If you, your husband is broke after getting a certain amount of money, don't, don't blame me. I'm not giving him information. If your wife, she's lazy. She's like, hey, man, must, man, must, and daughter, must. Hey, it's not me. Because Ishel are saying, we want these women to come and run these things. But Bona, they are just, in not a mass, in not a mass. They just, let me say, they're just good for opening and closing. That's it at night in the bedroom. Let's open here, guys. So, I'm not giving you more. Foot management, If any of you decides to buy into these things, I think, guys, thank you, Bongani. Thank you. Don't forget to come back and say thank you. Yes, Bongani, you gave, you shared that information. I used that information. Look at where I am today. Don't forget to come back and say thank you. And motivate others and say, yeah, I saw this video, it taught me this, I did this, and I'm successful. Don't forget to say thank you. To those that are seeing this information and they're like, yeah, I want to do something about this information. Don't forget to type in the comment section below. This video is productive. This video is information, is informative, I meant to say. Therefore, I'm going to do something about the information I found in this video. I want to hear things like that. Because my intention is to motivate you. To do something about your life and my intention is to motivate you to be a better business person that's my greatest goal i want to see you acting upon the potential in you 
God has called you to add something in this world. Poverty is not my friend. And poverty is not your friend. And we can do something about it. Don't wait for funding sometimes. You know, none of you guys will see each other in the next video. But until the next video, take care.